Cabazitaxel is an active agent which I think many oncologists are starting to get more and more familiar with the more and more it is used. It is a cytotoxic chemotherapy that's only approved for use after docetaxel and it's clear it should not be given prior to it. There is a study uh, of first Tana comparing docetaxel to cabazitaxel up uh, in castration resistant disease which will um, come online next year uh, and we will get the results from that. But at this stage it's very clear it works and it works post docetaxel and even in patients who had a poor response to docetaxel. The question then is how does chartered impact that? If a patient received docetaxel, receives docetaxel in the hormone sensitive setting, it, the docetaxel basically is out of the way and the physician has the option of either reaching for docetaxel if they tolerated it well and had a good response or sw switching to cabazitaxel of the, as the first chemotherapy for castration resistant disease and then working out which of the other drugs to put into the mix there, abiraterone, anzalutamide, radium and cipulosal T. What I think is fair to say is that the cipulosal T should be used very early because that's where it was studied and, and had the benefit in the study. Abiraterone and enzalutamide have lower toxicity profiles than chemotherapy and it's uh, the treatment burden and the benefits are, are, have a, a good profile and it's worth using them. Um, the other challenge is reaching, trying to mix in where does radium fit, fit in. So there's no clear answer uh, on any of which drug should be used when, but I do think if a patient has a poor response to their second line hormonal therapy with abiraterone or enzalutamide, maybe that speaks to needing chemotherapy rather than reaching for the next hormonal therapy agent, be it docetaxel or cabazitaxel, depending on what prior therapy they have had.